So test 2024, the list is out. Now the warm up is the warm up. I want us to feel like, and you'll see, especially with the kids' classes, but any level right now, we teach the warm up at any age, from five to 105. Uh, I want you to know this warm up by heart. I want you to do it as much as possible. It's really something that is at the core of what we do. Everything else, it can be a personal preference, but we need something that kind of connects us all and connects our students, uh, and it gives us a chance to really work on certain aspects every single class. Uh, Self-defense, we have looping punches, keeping distance for and stiff arm. All of them are on the website. If you have any questions, just send us an email. We're we going to ground. I want you to feel like it's really about starting to figure out what works for you or what are your preferences and why, by the way, okay? Most of the time, the curriculum is designed so there is a sweep, there is an arm bar, there is something else. The goal here is instead to make sure that you figure out something you like, that you feel like it's important, you drill the shit out of it until you really own it and that's what you're gonna show during that training. A little mental flexibility is required, you know, because if I tell you do a scissor sweep or whatever, I know you'll do it, but I want you to feel like her sweeps will be different than my sweeps, so very important. Takedowns, you can go from Ozotogari, obviously, they went down before, you can go double leg, you can go single leg, you can even, if you want to, throw a roundhouse kick a second, go in from here and just go for a takedown from that position. Just show two takedowns and the setup required to it. From the top, easy summations, like I said, that we can think of. So for example, Americana from here, you can even go for Kimura coming through and coming through for Kimura. From North South Choke, okay, coming through, okay. And the setup will be a little bit different, I'm just kind of making sure that you see it. So guillotine from the mount, you can go in from a punch choke, okay. So different things that you can do from the top position. What is your go-to summation from there? Now, from the bottom, you see. We can go in for arm bar, okay? I can come in from relax it, oma plata, I mean all the way up, triangle, okay? Sometimes I can do also a version of Americano key lock from triangle. I can come through and go into Kimura and do an arm choke, sweeps, sweep, any kind of reversal where it puts the person on their back and it puts you on top. So careful, it's not just about throwing them off, it's also making sure you're improving your position, you're in top position. From the guard, I have a hip bump sweep when I'm coming through and taking it over. Through with a scissor sweep, okay? With a hook sweep, coming through, same thing. I can come through for coyote sweep. So again, I want you to feel like proficiency. It should really be about boiling it down to a place where you figure out something that works for you. Again, what's gonna work for Candace is not gonna work for me. So passing and escapes. When I'm doing a pressure passing or a sitting passes, usually there are two directions that I'm gonna go when I'm coming through here. I'm either gonna go over the leg or I'm gonna come in under the leg. If you wanna do a stand-up pass, okay? You can go into Toriano, you can go into a different smashing passing. Choose something that you don't need me for it. Some of you already know and there's plenty of stuff on the Active Network site. But I want you to feel like it's really about kind of figuring out again what works for you. Escapes. You can go with hip escape, especially when she's down. Okay, I can come through and get myself into you know a butterfly. I can come through and frame her out and go into a single or into kicking away. You can come through and actually go over with your legs and try to escape that way. Escape outside of bucking and rolling. With side control, we have ghost escape. We have uh, framing to a single leg to get up to your knees. Uh, we have uh, re regarding. We're from here and I am trying to frame as she, she pushes me back. I can also kind of get her over. Sometimes also I can connect with her. Again, I'm coming over and all the way out. From this position, I can block this leg and just take her over again with back and rolling. That portion is gonna be really about you showing me, but also showing yourself how good can you get on the things you do and have a little bit of focus in your training. Ultimately at that level, that's a one also for our students.